Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp, Chime, Etsy, and Liquid IV for sponsoring this episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm one of your hosts, Becky, and I'm joined by Maggie. Hello. Matthew. Good morning. We got Rachel back with what, us. What, what, what? And we got Rainy on the ones and twos. Hello. Hello. You guys, today is a very special podcast episode. It is the one you've been wanting, the one you have been waiting for. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is it? For years. It is Margaret Bustamante is Mary. Oh, senora. Hola, Hola senora. senora. That was like Hola. the joke of the weekend. Everyone's like, you're a senora now. She I'm is like, a senora. No. Hello, senora. senora. You've been a senora Matron. this whole time. I'm old. You I'm an old, old woman. <laughs> Guys, Maggie is married. We I all know. went to Maggie's Maggie wedding. Married. Wow. How does it's it fun. feel? How does it feel to be married? And honestly, after three years, I'm like, wow. I just looked at Zach and I'm like, wow. Things feel the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> things feel the same. You did Same it. but different. Same but Not different. living in sin. Not <gasps> living in sin. Oh, Dirty yeah. birdie. Uh-huh. <laughs> we had to wake up that morning, same bed. <gasps> same bed. Same bed. Sluts. Sluts. Is this Sluts. the first time you've ever slept in the same bed together? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, of course. Whoa. Of course. Obviously. My mom Whoa. listens wow. to this podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Absolutely. So Maggie, take us back. Take us back to, to Mexico. Mexico. Tell us. So we all land. We adorably take the same flight. Mm-hmm. So cute. It was so fun. We Having land it. in Puerto Vallarta. Uh-huh. The Habersburgers and Mickey Yangs go on a Puerto Vallarta adventure. Yes. Zach and Maggie. Great. Loved it. Head to the wedding area. Yes. What is the first thing you did? The first thing we did was probably get dinner with family because everyone was like, oh, my God, you're here. And we thought we were going to have like so much time. I think we landed on Monday. There's never Mm -hmm. time. There's never time. There's never time. time. People sprinkled in. families hung out a bunch? Okay. Yes. So the reason we booked this town is because both our families actually have vacation together in this area. So it meant a a lot to us to get married here, too. And Mm -hmm. we just, yeah. Um. But there was just like a lot of people sprinkling in between both sides. And we just had dinners with people like every single night. And it still didn't feel like enough time. The weekend went by Everyone so Everyone just wanted quickly. to spend time with you. I yeah. know. And we wanted to make sure we had like some of Zach's family flew in from New Zealand. So we wanted to make sure that we got good quality time with his uncle. New Zealand. And his cousin. New Zealand I think I met the New Zealand the Kiwi. People. I yeah. didn't hear a New Zealand <laughs> accent among us. So well, I don't Well, they think... moved during oh, 2020. they're U.S. So they people. Who oh, moved okay. So I might not oh. have known. Yes. So they didn't have accents. Um, did you that have wedding things that you needed to get done pre-wedding or was everything done? Like you landed there and your coordinator yeah. did or you like feel like planner did everything. Absolutely going into not. It or were you like, yeah. oh my God, this is going to be a shit show. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, Zach and I, we <laughs> just <laughs> were a hot mess. We thought we were going to get everything done by the time. Well, the goal was to have things done like the month before and just coast and just be present with each other. That didn't happen. You no. guys will soon find out soon that there was some a lot of things leading up to the wedding, a lot of stressors leading up to yeah. the wedding. So there was a lot of Always stuff sucks. Left to the last minute. Zach and I were literally on the plane over, just like weeping, writing our vows. I thought I was going to write my <gasps> vows like a month in advance. The vows I didn't. are hard. They're vows hard. Are hard. Yes. Yeah. I had like little things written in my Google notepad for like after I got engaged. And I've been engaged for two and a half, almost three years. <laughs> <laughs> so I had been It was a long note. <laughs> it was a long note. Like every so often I'd be like, oh, I'd write this. And then I kind of just like compiled them all together. And then I was sitting on the plane and had... Like uninter- uninterrupted time minus like Zach going to the bathroom and stuff. But I had uninterrupted time, no Wi-Fi, no data, no distractions. So I like sat there and like finished it. But Keith, like the week before, I was like, please send me your vows so like you and Zach don't repeat the same thing. And I repeat the same thing over and over. And I was like, don't worry, Keith. I got it. I was like, fine. I didn't write these yet. That's fine. I think he was writing the officiant speech also on the plane. There we go. That was too. a very productive it was, flight for yeah. everyone. Exactly. Zach wedding flight. Uh, yeah. Delta Airlines. Whatever the number was. Yes. Exactly. Uh, um. So on Thursday mm-hmm. before pre welcome party, mm-hmm. Steffi, your now sister in law, organized a boat day. <gasps> yes. Tell us mm. about the boat day. The boat day was so fun. We saw whales. 
whales, whales which yeah. they're usually more active in the morning, but it is whale mating season in the area that we were Ooh. in. Mm-hmm. So we saw them, which was very, very exciting. Whales are magical. Did you do that on purpose? Did you want to get married during whale mating season? No, I think it's just the weather's, well, technically it's winter <clears throat> there. I don't know what it is that about the water. the nicest winter I've ever that been to. Beautiful, <laughs> yes. winter. beautiful winter. Beautiful winter. Hot, sticky summers. Hot. Hot. Yeah, yeah. Well, if LA could take note, yeah. that would be great. Yeah. But it was incredible. Um, there, so how long was, it was like a sunset boat cruise. So it started at like 4.30 and then we got back at like 7.30. There was like snacks. They made us walk out onto the boat with all our guests already <laughs> standing on the boat to this cringy. To Maggie's favorite song uh, ever. It was, yeah, it was Zach great. and Maggie chose it 100%. Yep. They're going to say that they didn't. They're what lying. Song? It was Bruno Mars. Oh, I'm just to marry, just just marry you. Just marry you. Basically, the staff of the book made people in weddings I and know, Bruno Mars. I know. At our well, I mean, it's pretty explicit wedding? in it's the really, song. Yeah. <laughs> At our wedding reception, Bruno Mars was on my don't playlist, and it was the second song played. Oh, my gosh. I was like, <gasps> DJ I guess fired. I'll just dance. Yeah, this song haunts my dreams too because during my bachelor dreams. party, <laughs> that same song is what the giant penis came down <gasps> to. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, I told my like people at my bachelor party I didn't want any penises because just I just didn't want them. And they're like, "Don't worry, don't worry, we won't have any penis guard." But they did ask a giant penis man to come down and dance with me. I which mean. Was, that a was nightmare. funny. Let's be let's be real. It a nightmare for you <laughs> and, and a joy for everyone else. Hat. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the Bruno Mars Marry Me song haunts my dreams. It's been ruined. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. I agree. It's iconic. Don't lie. You asked where you loved it. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a part of the video. <laughs> I mean, it's part of I, f- the like, process. Zach and I just, just step off the bus and I uh-huh. just like make eye contact with Becky and Becky's just clapping. She's like, they love this. <laughs> they love <laughs> it. It's their favorite thing in the world. They're so excited. I hope was, we're rolling sound on this. Yeah. yeah. I was also like, they were holding them back to like do a shot or something. And I was like, oh, oh wrong no. crowd. <laughs> wrong crowd. No, like, you're not gonna drink. So no. like, I don't drink. And they're like, okay, we're just gonna get the boat ready. <laughs> so we did the boat day. Fabulous. Loved hanging out. Very chill, relaxing. Uh-huh. We went in the water. Cocktails and snacks. How was the ocean? Salty. The ocean was salty, yeah. So Maggie and I went in the water. Becky's like, I'm not gonna brave. go in. So I'm not brave. gonna go in. And then Becky's like, so I'll go in. And I was well, like, because, I'm coming. Yeah, because Maggie said, I'll go in if you go in. And I'm like, well. If the bride says that, you got to do it. It's like a yeah, challenge. Becky, let's go. So we went in, and I think I went in like mouth open. Me too. To the water because I was like, came up and then was just like gagging. Me too. I was like, it's salty in here. Yeah. 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 Well, mostly we just had to pee. So that's why we did it. And then we peed uh. all over ourselves. <laughs> and then Becky lied about it. <gasps> I didn't uh. lie about it. You lied about it. You said you didn't pee. Oh and God. I was like, she said, she I said, said, I, said she I peed. Said. Said. And Becky was like, ew. And then I went up to Keith and Keith was like, Becky went in the water because she wanted to pee on herself. I was like, <laughs> see? No, see? <laughs> I told her in the moment. She lies. <laughs> we actually saved ourselves with pee because yeah. two people got stung by a jellyfish. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Becky Bad and I were just thing. peeing so and our neutralizing. Pee helped keep the jellyfish away from me and Maggie. <laughs> exactly. It formed a protective barrier, mm-hmm. and it was perfect. Yep. <laughs> blessed. Love perfect. this for you. Hashtag Love this for you. blessed. Love Hashtag this for you. don't swim near Becky and uh, Maggie. I, I don't away. pee in pools, yeah. don't but I pools. will pee in the ocean because yeah. the ocean's cold. Yeah. You can <laughs> pee in the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Fish Not do a it. Pool. Yeah. Wait, fish eat it. No one's policing because it's cold. That's why you'll pee. It was so cold. No, we well, it was cold, but we just didn't want to pee on the boat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because like the floor was wet, and you're walking around in bare feet, and I'm like, I don't know these men how they pee. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know these men men over here. I don't know what he's doing when the boats are rocking. If everything's (laughs) making it into the toilet. Yeah, you dirty man. Not interested. (laughs) You dirty man. All my fault. (laughs) The girls who. Piss freely <laughs> in it's the all ocean. My fault. And yeah. a giant body of water. Yes, thank you. Yeah. The yeah. It's called diffusion. Osmosis. All over you. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else did we do? Okay, so we got back. We went to like a nice dinner afterward. Yeah, Everyone dinner had drinks. drinks mm-hmm. Hung out. But the real party began the next day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that insane. I don't think I've ever been to a welcome party that was that like. No. It was okay. So extravagant. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. It's. I mean, there was a lot of wedding stress the weekend or the month before. So (laughs) uh, 
Margo, Zach's mom, mm-hmm. took a lot of stress off my pay- plate and was like, I got this. I'm going to plan this party. And I was like, you go, Margo. I love you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Margo is <laughs> badass. Let's just yeah. say. I love Margo. Yeah. We love I've gotten to work with Margo a little bit. And she is like, yeah, she's a queen. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what do you want? Okay. I want this. We're going to get it done. Done. Yes. Yeah. But she was incredible. She helped out so much and planned a very wonderful party. Um, we had a churro man, which was definitely the highlight of the welcome party. I mean, that and was the, the highlight of the welcome party and the Super Bowl party mm-hmm. and just the weekend in general. Mm-hmm. He yeah. was very talented at what he did. Yes. Talented <laughs> churro man. Yeah. And there talented were people. It sounds like we're churro talking artists. in euphemisms, but dirty. we're not. Yeah. The churros was, were just really good. I think on Sunday night, I had, I had had at least two already, and Keith goes, mm-hmm. Don't we need a last ride? And I was like, yeah, yeah. go get some more. Yeah, 100%. we. I think we ended up telling the churro man. I'm like, can you please bring like four t- times the ingredients that you brought last time? Because the <laughs> first night on Friday, mm-hmm. he ran out of dough. Oh, I know because we were just accounting for people. Because usually when we get churros, we get like one or two. But like people loved the churro man so much, they were getting like four. They were well, getting some for his were little. He's making churros. baby churros. And I sent Watson <laughs> to get nice. one of each flavor. That's so him. that was three. Yep. Uh-huh. And he only came back with one because he was like, well, he ran out and I felt bad for Quasi. And then I felt bad for Keith. Mm. And so here's one for you. And I was like, oh, okay. So on Sunday, I got a lot. <laughs> yeah. He came back but with I more. I like the helados. Oh, the lollipops. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't even know those were happening those were until good. they were. I didn't have They're one. like cocktail popsicles. They had carajillo yeah. lollipops, yeah, my favorite, which is espresso and liquor 43. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Liquor 43. Whoa. Yeah. Spanish liquor, so good. Wow. Yeah. No, I missed that. They I was had too busy. They were in churros. the corner. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at all this. I didn't know you were coming. You, it was such a good surprise churros. to you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was almost. Not that I had more fun at the surrounding events, but it was nice to just enjoy and not be stressed out about like where things are. Like, oh, yeah. I like I'm mm-hmm. thinking about like There's all no these things that I planned and I'm like looking around making sure they all get executed. But it was really nice to just be there and there were so many people traveling from out of town. Everyone traveled from out of town. So it was nice having those three events to kind of mm-hmm. make sure that we spent enough time with people. Mm-hmm. And then we got to dance the entire time on Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite part about the welcome party mm. or like favorite memory? Uh, the speeches were really special. Everyone's speech mm-hmm. was really, really mm. well done. Yeah. Yeah. So all the siblings gave speeches on yep. Friday mm-hmm. um, and then the parents gave speeches at the wedding mm-hmm. and the siblings just kill it. They yeah. really do. They're mm-hmm. really good. As young folk. Yeah. The young folk young and folk. the best friends. Yeah. Oh yeah. Eric's speech. Eric, Eric's speech yeah. was really beautiful. Good. Speech. Very funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Lots of hilarious little mm-hmm. <laughs> little tidbits. Little jabs. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Eric. <laughs> Eric. And then oh Eugene God. like went to a f- um. like a full grocery store and made art. Like oh my God. he Classic. texted us like shortly after we asked him to give a speech and he's like, Will you have um like a, a PowerPoint like would I be able to give a PowerPoint presentation? We were like, I don't know if we have technology set up in that way. Uh <laughs> let us get back to you. We it's never in got a back to him. Yeah. <laughs> He knew, yeah, we were doing a Super Bowl party the following Sunday and just got like a few TVs, but like not, Mm-mm. not to like, no, we didn't have His that. The solution was epic. It was epic. He like tape. you can talk, oh my gosh. talk to well, it, Matt. <laughs> so he like had written it before mm-hmm. we had gone on the trip. But then when we were in Puerto He was Vallarta, the only one. Everyone else did it on the plane. Right? Yeah. That's so he was kind of ahead of the game. But then when we got to Puerto, Puerto Vallarta, he needed to buy like the right size like mm-hmm. poster boards to make it so that people could see. Mm-hmm. But we couldn't find anything that large. Mm-hmm. So we went to this art store. So he went and got all these art supplies. Got it. And then he just held on to them all week. And I was like, Eugene, I really think you should start working on this. <laughs> he took it with us everywhere. Like literally with us. He every brought it with, day. Uh, he like had his little like <laughs> yeah. backpack with the rolled papers in it. <laughs> I was like, Eugene, oh I really think God. you should start working. I think it's going to take longer than you think. I really think you should start working on this. And then he was like, well, I also need to print stuff out. And I was like. <laughs> print? I was like, uh-huh. Print? Like, what do you mean print Which he had never out? mentioned the entire, like, four days never leading up. Never said anything Where are we going to Go to Mexico and print something. <laughs> like, print it at home. I feel it's like. paper. You can put it in a folder and put it in your suitcase. You and I understand I so each mad. other. Yeah. This is what it's like. Yeah. This is what it's like. You're like, oh, no, there's 30 crew showing up tomorrow. And you're saying, what? You need what? Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Yeah. 
<laughs> it was insane. So then we were like trying to do research to find where to print stuff and he couldn't find a spot. So then I found a spot and then I go up and the lady only speaks Spanish. So I'm like trying to talk to her yeah. like in Italian Spanish. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, it's 42 <laughs> páginas. And I was like, 42 pages. Oh my God. You <laughs> Oh you could have print 42 pages in a color. Small novel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then we didn't have scissors. We had to buy, like, it was a whole thing. We had to go to the pharmacy and get, like, some scissors and stuff. You got so surgical you know, scissors. Like, all these things from all over. Whatever. Mm-hmm. To, and then he wouldn't put it together until, like, the day of. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Like, hours. Like, hours before. Hours before. I was like, I Eugene, you should do this. You should do this. No, no. Yeah. I'm, it'll be fine. It'll be easy. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Becky gives no. me a hug on Friday. Scrambling. And she's like, Eugene's still getting ready. I was like, oh, okay. No worries. No worries. And then they, he gave this huge, like, presentation. I was like, ah. I see. He was scrambling. Lots of worries. Lots, Lots of worries. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yeah. A little bit of a but it was incredible. At the end there. Scrambling. <laughs> yeah. Scrambling. I hope but. he wasn't too stressed because, like, we were like, well, Eugene, we're we're gonna ask you to give a small speech. You don't. You can just throw it together. Don't even worry. Don't even stress. Not how he works. Uh-uh. That's, he, oh <laughs> no. Not how not, he works. I know. <laughs> but we intentionally wanted because we know he has a lot on his plate too. So we were like, let's be mindful. But. Mm. Never. If he's got <laughs> he to do it, he's got to do it. Times like if you're 10 not gonna, at the last minute. <laughs> he puts I told his him to work on it like 10 times. It. He didn't do it. It's his yeah. own fault now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're all always growing and changing. You know, I'm not the same person I was when I was 21, now at almost 33. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. Here at You Can Sit With Us, obviously we love therapy. It's great to have someone to bounce ideas off of, someone who's totally impartial to help facilitate your ideas. It's super helpful to learn positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. Money can't buy happiness, but not worrying about your money comes close. That's where Chime can help you smile more. They were just named the number one most loved banking app. With payday up to two days early and fee-free overdrafts up to $200, they offer financial peace of mind in your wallet. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. See for yourself why Chime is so loved at Chime.com slash sit with us. That's Chime.com slash sit with us. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking service and debit card provided by the Bank Court Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depend on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. See chime.com slash spot me. Chime was the 2021 number one most downloaded banking app in the U.S. according to Apptopia. So we have a beautiful welcome party filled with churros and love and speeches. Mm-hmm. Take us through. The magical next day. Oh, you oh. wake up. Yeah. How do you, you how do you remember how do you remember uh, your wedding day? How do you remember? Yeah. Take it us was, through. Uh, step by step. I barely minute slept. Minute by minute. Slept. Second by mm-hmm. second. Did breath you wake by breath. Up early? I barely slept. Out the welcome excitement. party actually ended quite late, but still there was a lot of things to do. Was a Margaret like kicking people out? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, it's time to go. Yeah. She's like, we gotta get this place clean. We're gonna party tomorrow. Goodbye. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So there was just like a lot of moving pieces. We were staying in a different place Thursday night, and then we had to move into a different place Friday. Mm. So there was just like <clears throat> unpacking, which was like poor planning on our part, but there was nothing we could have done. We tried. We booked the place like a year in advance, but they were like, you can only check in on Friday. So we were like, oh, I'm sure someone will change the dates and we'll be able to get it. No, we never got it. So it was just a lot. Um, I barely slept. I think I slept only four hours just out of pure <gasps> excitement and making Yee. sure that – There was just so many things. There was so many things on the checklist that even on the wedding day, Zach and I were like, oh, my God, we didn't we didn't like kind of talk about this. And things just like went by so quickly. Que sera, sera. Yeah. (laughs) It was still like a very I've definitely been to weddings that end at like 9 p.m. 830 is like last call. Like I've definitely been there. But our wedding went till 1 Mm a.m. And it still felt like it was so short. 
And it started like mid afternoon too. We it started at up four. at like four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It well, went you were getting ready. At it was a celebration. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Everyone started getting ready because there was mm-hmm. only like. I saw Becky at four and she was like, I showered at six. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> this is the last time I bathed. Six, I know. Six a.m. <laughs> Central time? <laughs> Central time. Yeah. I need that fresh blowout for the hair girl. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was only a certain amount of like hair and makeup. So they were like, okay, in order to be done at this time that your photographer would like, you have to start at this time because they can't have like 10 people on deck doing everyone right, the hour right. before. Mm-hmm. So I always would be so – like I've been in wedding parties before and they start getting ready seven, eight, and I'm like, oh. Won't be me. And then as soon as I got the schedule, I was like, oh, my God, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 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 Turns out it's me. Yeah. How were you feeling when you were getting ready, though? Did you feel stressed? I felt stressed. Uh, How do you show your stress? In silence. (laughs) In a quiet panic. Very internal. I I kept going over and I was like, do you need anything? (laughs) Do you want anything? I'm just like thinking Because she was just being quiet, like Mm -hmm. sitting there. And I'm like, is she okay? Are you okay? It was just what was so your internal monologue? My internal monologue, uh, are we staying on the schedule? <laughs> but it got Aww. to a point where um, my, like my bridesmaids were so great. They're like, can we not talk about the schedule in front of her anymore? Because there was a lot of talk of like how we were behind, how we were behind. And they all took the coordinator aside and was like, don't talk about timing anymore. Because yeah. I was like internally spiraling. Also, if you want to walk down late, you can walk down late. That's true. Yeah, I walk down whatever you want. That's yeah. true. It's your wedding. Yeah. But it's just like went by. I think that just like I wish that I could have slowed down time. Just like an easy bit. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Making but memories. It was only like the first part of the morning when I was like, okay, how do we organize? And then as soon as talk of schedule just like went away, I was able to relax. And I was like, okay, let's <sighs> have fun. <laughs> as soon as people weren't stressing in front of you, you mm-hmm. relax. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. 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 What was your makeup routine? How did like what was getting ready? What were the steps? Getting ready. It wasn't six. I think no. I so I shower. She, Becky I didn't showered be there at, at six a.m. Yeah. But they started at eight. But you went last, right? I went. So everyone started. Everyone started getting ready around eight eight fifteen. Like I think it was moms. Becky started, mm-hmm. and then Steffi started, and then I started getting ready at like ten. And they mm-hmm. started like putting my hair up. I opted for a ponytail. So it wasn't anything too crazy just because it's a little more humid in that area. And I was worried Mm -hmm. about my hair lasting all day because I have very fine hair and it just like takes on the elements. Yeah, that part of Mexico was a little frizzy for some of us. Yeah. (laughs) My mom (laughs) with the same hair texture, she's like, are you sure my hair is going to be okay? I'm like, "Mm -hmm." Mm. maybe not, mom. No. Um, Did your makeup make you feel like you? Did Mm -hmm. you like it? I liked it. I thought she was really good at doing like soft it wasn't too glam, but it was mm-hmm. like natural glam. Yeah, I liked her. Well, you need some for the pictures, you know. Yeah, Otherwise you definitely look like, do. I kept saying yeah. you looked like when you Google Pinterest, like wedding hair and makeup. Like you I looked, looked like, like one of those pictures. Yeah. Amazing. Modern. You I wasn't amazing. like Pinterest versus You're reality. A Pinterest girl. Wow. Yeah, it was like perfect. Yeah. But she did ask me, she's like, do you have any Pinterest photos of what you want your makeup to look like? I'm like, I've never really like paid attention to colors because like my eyes, but she killed it. She was so good. And it lasted all day. That's really good. Um, Your makeup lady was really, your makeup and hair lady was really funny to watch. Why? (laughs) Because she could not hide her facial expression. Uh (laughs) About what? Like things would be happening or like people would be coming in and she'd be like, it was really shady. Really funny. It was so shady. She was so funny. She, her eyes would just be like to look at who mm. people coming <laughs> I in. I remember. I just remember her like someone said something or like someone was doing someone else's hair and she looked and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was so funny to watch her. I was not paying attention. Matt got to like just watch everyone on the sidelines. Uh-huh. That was the steamer. I was professional on, steamer. I was the, what do we call, oh, Bam and I were the steam queens. Professional ste- steam, steam queens. queens. So we were steaming everyone's dresses An and angel. the veil, you know, all the stuff. Yeah. Matt so that everyone, my veil. No wrinkles. No yeah. wrinkles. No wrinkles in sight for those pictures. The robes. You yeah. guys were amazing. Mm-hmm. It was so cute. Steam did queens. Did you guys do a first look first? We did. What was that like? And were you nervous? I'm glad we did it. It was very fun. Had he seen your dress though? No. So that's big for him. Uh-huh. Cuz a tux is a tux you sort of know what to expect. He but, still looks mm, so cute though. He looks so cute. Yeah. 
He did um, a tux. Would David you have died if he showed up in like a crazy tux? If it was like lime green or something, <laughs> like something you did not talk about, <laughs> or like an oversized with like yeah. neon would with you like have cape? died with a cape. with a cape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What would you have done? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I'm shocked that there wasn't. I've seen a lot. You should have done a gag first look. That would have been of funny. jokes. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Where it's like Matt uh-huh. is my first look. Like I tap uh-huh. you on the shoulder and it's Matt. You're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> my husband. He's so good. Um, so but funny. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know. He just kind of included me in what he was going to wear from the very beginning. So there wasn't going to be any surprise. But I would have loved yeah. a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have loved it feels to very Zach to have done a joke. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he looked very dapper. It was very fun. Mm-hmm. Well, we got some then good we photos. got in a bus. Yeah. We're shuttled away. Well, you're not shuttled away. You go in a car. With Zach. And yeah. what did the um, lady who was driving the car offer to you? Oh my gosh, she was what so funny. What the rest of us offered also <laughs> right before she walked down the aisle. So we get out of the car. It's just Zach and I. And she drove us there. And she's like, if you need anything, if you need just like an escape car or anything, I'm here. I'll be waiting for you until like the wedding's over. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like for you or for you guys as a couple? No, for her. For me? Like, she was speaking to you in Spanish? If you want to run away bride <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. She's like, if you need to like do anything, I got you, girl. And we joked run in the, away in the, the getting ready room. We were like, all right, Maggie, this is it. Like, we're going to walk out there. If you want to change your mind, you got to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> your getaway yes. car is waiting. Yeah. Of course <laughs> not. She's outside mm-hmm. for you. Of course not. I mean, I love the support. Yeah. I love mm-hmm. the like. I'm she here. probably like. Offers it to every. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's every. a good wedding joke. Yeah. A good wedding gag. It's mm-hmm. very supportive, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Giving you what you need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, tell us about the um, super short, not on a hill, no oh stairs God. walk down the aisle. I remember <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Becky. Poor Bex. Oh, my gosh. So it was a surprise <laughs> to everyone in walking down the aisle. Everyone in the wedding party, all family members were so shocked. There was like... <laughs> Steps that weren't really steps that were on a lawn that it was just like a very long walkway. But we aisle is fully downhill. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. we opted to do rehearsal just kind of where we were all staying. So Mm -hmm. we were like, we don't really need to like act it all out. Everyone knows how to walk down an aisle. We'll just work on the order, (laughs) work where there's going to be labeled seats on where you're going to sit. It's all going to be straightforward. We don't need to go all the way to the venue. It's just like 10 minutes away. Why are we going to transport everyone? Let's just do it here. Mm -hmm. All of us were greeted with a surprise because no one had seen the aisle before. Like we had toured. You had. I had toured, but I don't think I thought about... chairs probably weren't set up. Yeah, Mm -hmm. chairs weren't set up. I didn't know where it was going to start. I didn't pay attention to steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But all of us... You were probably also like wearing sneakers or something when you're touring. Exactly. I was wearing like flat sandals. And uh, we all just like as we're walking (laughs) down and like the music's playing, we're like, oh, this is... This is a surprise, but like everyone's expression on their faces on like uh, guest uh, videos that Uh they ended up sending me are so funny. Like both my sister's faces are like, wow, what What do I do here? (laughs) Becky too, Becky. The concentration of going down these steps like, don't fall. I know. Don't fall. You know what it did though? It really (laughs) allowed people to walk slow. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Kind of It did slow it down. It slowed it down like so we could really take Mm. in everyone's like walk and their beautiful dresses and suits and stuff but um i will say with two parents because i wanted both Mm -hmm. my parents to walk down with me we are not small booty people so i was like how is this gonna work (laughs) we're all like but at least you got to hold hands yeah so you can't fall yeah true one (laughs) goes down support you had lots of support yeah Mm -hmm. we're all going down together if one of us goes you had kind of a no phone rule Mm -hmm. which i like during Mm -hmm. the ceremony Mm -hmm. so now looking at the pictures did people abide by your no phone rule? No, I'll tell you they didn't. I was making <laughs> eyes with people right before Maggie walked down. I was like, put that fucking phone away. Put it away. I'm watching you. Becky, you were like, I'm watching you. Were you were doing the same thing. They literally said, no one on the aisle, put your phone down. Yeah. Put your phone down. Look around. There are like four videographers. They mm-hmm. got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Demons. The pictures always look better without yeah. the paparazzi. The phone. Yeah. Your, I'm just telling you, your photo is not going to be better than the professional photos <laughs> yeah. and videos. Definitely it's not. not. Yeah. Uh-uh. It's not. It's true. It's true. I say this as someone who pulled out her film camera when you went back down married. But <laughs> there was, was a few, like, Samra got, like, a really cool angle that none of the photographers mm-hmm. or videographers, but I will say, 
if you're sitting in the aisle, just know that you are going to be in every single photo of your friend or family mm-hmm. member who's getting married. So just be mindful. And you might yeah. get memed by all those friends and family members. Yeah. They might Ooh. send that picture to all of their oh. friends <laughs> when they're Mar- getting married. Getting married. So and they're like, please don't be this don't person. Don't be this person. Becky is prophesizing <laughs> something is going to happen, huh? Watching. Watching. <laughs> Um, Maddie, what was going through your head when you were, other than don't trip, don't trip, what Mm. was going through your head when you were walking down the aisle and you see Zach at the end? I got, I, we purposely changed the song. Like I wanted to walk down the aisle to another song that we both love, but I was like, I feel like I'm going to sob if it's going to be too sad. So we changed it to a more upbeat song, but I, my focus was like, don't cry. And I had gone Mm. through, like I'd gone through my vows multiple times. So I did get through it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to get through it, I didn't like have a full blown mm-hmm. cry fest, mm-hmm. which was good because I always thought like that was absolutely going to be me, absolutely. And it when someone is when the bride or groom is like struggling to breathe to get through their vows yeah. when they're crying, it's just so everyone feels so much for them. It's like mm-hmm. please stop and take a breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we got this. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Becky like. Thank you for your tip for the veil. Oh, yeah. My veil started to like fly away when I first got down there. There was like a lot of thoughts. They're like, oh, my gosh. I love Zach so much. Oh, my God. My veil's flying away. Mm -hmm. I felt Zach's dad at one point stomp Mm -hmm. on the veil because as it was flying away. But Becky had it pinned. She's like, pin it this way so it doesn't fly away or get caught in anything. And just Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like it was me and um, one of Maggie's other bridesmaids, Stephanie Mitri, had both been like dodos about our veils for our own wedding. So you like take that information with you to your friend's weddings. And I was like, (laughs) my mom and I just stuck my veil in my head. That's what you're supposed to do. No pin, no nothing. It immediately was coming out of my hair as I was walking down the aisle. And I think Mitri said hers like flew away because also she didn't (laughs) Mm -hmm. pin it. I was like, we're going to put two pins right here. Yeah. And then when the what you know, when they take it off, make sure they take those pins in a nice way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So funny. But Yeah. Yeah. So you're doing your vows. Mm-hmm. Zach's doing looking vows. into your eyes. Eric, Zach's best <laughs> man, had taped uh, our vows. into. We had like two little vow books that were made by the people who did our invites. Mm-hmm. They were like, do you want us to do anything other special? We're like, oh, yeah. So we have those as like little mementos, which are very cute. <clears throat> um, but Eric printed it out and then put it into the vow books. But he p- skipped pages. So it was like kind of nerve wracking and I like lost oh, my spot. You lost nobody your noticed. spot because <laughs> Keith helped me. He was yeah. like, wait, a man put this together here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he like skipped over pages. Yeah. I, okay. It's okay. But were you able to hear Zach's vows or did you sort of black out in the moment and you just read them later? I blacked out definitely. I <laughs> did hear a, a good fair amount of it, but I definitely went back into his vow book and Zach was like, you're not allowed to read them. You have to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> She's sneaking peeks. I snuck it. Sneaking peeks. And you guys did a step on the glass. We did step you on the glass. You stepped on the glass. We did. How was that? I was exciting. Exciting. It was exciting for all of us in like the first two rows. I was like, ee! Yeah. Did you I, didn't, it? I didn't, did didn't know that it? it's, I didn't know that it's like a light bulb. Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes they have like a glass that's specifically made oh. for doing. Because Zach was like, it's it just going to be a light bulb. And I was like. And some people get them yeah. like they'll repurpose the glass into a bowl. But Zach just used mm-hmm. a light bulb because it made the best crunch. And mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Least dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. what is that? What's that tradition? It's basically a tradition. It's basically symbolizes that like. I don't want to misrepresent that. There's like two things. It means like everything. Like depending on which Jewish person you ask. Mm -hmm. Of the weddings that I've been to, they've said it's to remind you of hardships. Right. Because most like Jewish holidays are are surrounding something that was like something bad bad that happened to the Jewish people and how they overcame it. So there's that. It's supposed to represent like the fragility of marriage. It's supposed to represent. It has like all these different meanings Mm -hmm. depending on who you ask. Yeah. And then you stomp on it. And you can't put it back together perfectly again. Yeah. It's like another. Oh, light bulb. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> light bulb. You're done. Light bulb and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. But there's. what Do you know what it's called? When you step on. I always just called it stepping on the glass. Yeah. Look it up. Glass smash. Glass smash. Yeah. Because you didn't really incorporate any other Jewish traditions in your wedding. That's kind of the big one, right? We did that. And we also did the Hora. 
Oh, the horror. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the, horror, the party time. We got to get up fun. in those chairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you did so great at the horror. Yeah, uh-huh. I had a, got yeah. a great support you, system. <laughs> you looked like you were Eugene having the there. best time. You didn't look terrified at all. Yeah, did you feel secure? I felt so secure. Yeah. I was shocked. You looked like it. <laughs> yeah. And you kept trying to give Zach the napkin, and he was just whipping his around. I and I was like, hold it with Maggie. I know he had two napkins at one point. I'm like, what are you doing? I feel like I know how to do this. <laughs> Follow me. You're supposed to hold one. Mm-hmm. What's Breaking it called, Rainy? Oh, Breaking of the Glass. <laughs> yeah. Did one you? website says, oh, symbolically, the Breaking of the Glass reminds us of the fragile nature of life. Yep. The custom has also come to symbolize the shattering of the old and beginning of the new. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Love that. Did you feel any sort of relief in having the ceremony done? Like you could just party? Or was it sad to be done? Because was, like that was a big deal? It was a relief because there was more things I wanted to do mm-hmm. after the ceremony. <laughs> and it was just like, okay, all the formalities we're done. Mm-hmm. Let's mm. party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a relief. It was nice to go down and see everyone at cocktail hour while they were eating their like little snacks and mm-hmm. getting their beverages and stuff. We got to do that for like 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then it was still pretty go, go, go. Like the first part of the dinner, Zach and I were gone because we yeah. had to do some some stuff. Pictures. What Photos? stuff? Always more Photos. Pictures. Photos. Okay. We had to do a dressing change. Mm-hmm. All that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you Great. seen all of your photos yet? Not yet. Usually, <gasps> really? photographer you saw will a take preview. We got sneak peeks, which were exciting. Yeah. Um, but one our photographer- of my favorite photos of all time is that blurry one of you with your bouquet. Oh, so I just want to print it huge and put it in my living room. I know it's oh, so pretty. Yeah. It's so pretty. Know, you had really good videographers and mm-hmm. yeah, like the, the videographers the were incredible. The, the sizzle in- reel yes. was so incredible. Good. <laughs> the trailer so good. for the wedding was yeah. incredible. <laughs> the trailer for the wedding. It's yeah. seriously. I can't wait for the insane. movie to come out. Yeah. <laughs> they were insane. they got really good shots. They were really nice and they made us feel so comfortable. <clears throat> they gave us a hard drive, so there will be more. More from them. I think that they take a while just because they got a lot of stuff and they have to stitch yeah. it together. Oh, yeah. Their contract said minimum three months, but we will have something. Minimum three months. Minimum Ooh, three minimum. months. Yeah. Um, were there any shots that you didn't get that you wanted? Yeah. I feel like, I mean, there's so much that goes into a wedding day. I wish that I had a list of photos that I wanted to take because I've gone to weddings mm-hmm. before where mm-hmm. I got like photos with every bridesmaids and stuff mm-hmm. but there was like so much stuff going on and I didn't get to reflect on that till afterwards and I'm like oh man I wish I would have gotten like a photo with this person a photo of this mm-hmm. person but there's only mm-hmm. like Zach and I tried putting disposable cameras on all the tables to make sure that oh, all our me, wedding guests got I photos. Took some photos yeah <laughs> don't but, give me a camera <laughs> yeah so that's like I guess that's like my only Sad thing reflecting. I'm like, oh, I wish I got. Have you developed photos. those yet? Yeah. The disposables? They we have. have you seen Are that? they good? Oh, sadly, no. I no. wish that there were more passed out when the sun was out at cocktail hour because a lot of people oh, don't yeah. know to use flash. Oh. So we have a lot of photos that are like. Couldn't black. be me. Oh. <laughs> Mine are good. It doesn't automatically flash on the. No, you have to pull it to the oh. side. Yeah. Old school. Old I school. Know. Manual. But we yeah, manual key. There are some good ones in there. Uh-huh. But yeah. Mm, sorry. No, you it's could okay. just create a collage with all the bad And colors. our photographer. <laughs> it would just be black, Matt. <laughs> well, it would just different be black. shades. You yeah. Can make it into you can you color. Know? That's what color correcting is for. But our photographer shot in both digital and film. So mm-hmm. we'll have both, which oh, is really yeah. cool. That's fun. We got a lot of black and white photos in the sneak peeks because she likes to color match. So we'll mm-hmm. get more colored, black and white and colored photos by the end. They're okay. excited. I'm yeah. excited. That's cool. I yeah. feel like you guys really buried the lead with the music mm. because you were like, we're yes. going to have a live band and we're going to have a DJ. Oh. But you never said, we're going to have a live band brass tracks. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. I yeah. Yeah. saw at like they were incredible. Austin City Limits before. It was yes. really my bands. I forget which one it was. Literally but we were like, a wedding and a music festival. Yes. yes. They were it was so incredible. Good. They were incredible. I loved them. How did that come to fruition? I know yeah. Zach has like, DM'd. You guys have gone to Brass Tracks concerts before. Yes. DM'd with the your friends singers. Yes. Like how did how this come them in to come to Mexico? Okay. Work? <laughs> so it was never a question. Zach and I always wanted to do DJ because we love hearing like songs and mm-hmm. mixes and we love music. 
But we also wanted to incorporate jazz, or not jazz, brass and percussion into the <laughs> wedding part. Okay, really jazz. Jazz. Incorporate jazz. jazz. No. <laughs> we wanted to incorporate a brass instrument. We love trumpet. We love saxophone and like a like percussion drum mm-hmm. of some sort. Yeah. But it was hard to find someone locally based that could do that because it's a lot of improv. Mm-hmm. So we, I found this gentleman based out of Guadalajara. He played trumpet, but he only wanted to be booked with his entire band. Mm -hmm. He got booked very early on into the wedding, I think almost a year more. And I was like so sad. I had been talking to him for like a couple weeks and we were going back and forth and I was talking to whoever plans his schedule. Mm -hmm. And then it just so happened that somebody else booked him and I was really sad. And I was like, Zach, Zach, what are we going to do? We got some quotes from some people based out of LA, Mm -hmm. but- no one felt right. So we just like kind of gave up on that plan, just had our DJ for like a couple months. And Brass Tracks was having a concert in LA, I think at the Echoplex. And Zach just DM'd him. Basically, how Zach started talking to Ivan from Brass Tracks was he mentioned him on a podcast. Mm-hmm. And someone sent it to Ivan, and Ivan DM'd Zach and was like, Thanks so much for shouting us out. Like, when, whenever you're in LA or, or in New York, if you ever want to come see us like I got you so we went to one of their shows and Zach just asked him like do you know anybody that does like trumpet percussion like any Mm -hmm. duo that could Mm -hmm. come to my wedding or like anyone who does something like that and Ivan was just like I'll do it and Zach (laughs) and I were like um (laughs) really we basically discovered them at a music festival. Yeah. Becky was there. Mm-hmm. Keith was there. We were wandering stages. I believe it was outside lands. Yeah, I was like, it was either outside lands or Austin City Limits. I think it was I outside we lands. we were pooping around. Yeah. And we were like, what the hell is this? We're like, <laughs> what is this musically? This is so fun. We ended up staying there longer than we had mm-hmm. missed the next band that we were on our way to see because they were just so fun yeah. mm-hmm. and energetic. And we just had the best time. And so we they always stuck in our brain. We always listened to them. They were always on our Spotify playlist. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're very sweet, all all of yeah, them. Yeah, they were besties. incredible. Yeah. yeah. And what's their like vibe? Like Ivan is like a DJ trumpet player, but like this was like kind of the first time that I was so close mm-hmm. watching them, which was at mm-hmm. my wedding, like front center, just like dancing mm-hmm. the entire time. But you could see Ivan kind of conducting the rest of the band b- mm-hmm. based mm-hmm. on his tra- like he's very talented. He they actually did or produce the horns on Harry Styles' Music for a Sushi Restaurant. Oh, so he, they did I play know. that I know. during mm-hmm. the wedding. And I went, <laughs> yeah, feral. Yeah. I, I, like, oh! I did too. I like yeah. danced my organs out of my body. Yeah. That. It was absolutely a highlight. Yes. Also, I went to the little phone and left you a message vocalist after that. Right. The vocalist. The right vocalist Jay Horn. Yeah, yeah, he was great. Yeah. He was Very incredible. Talented. He was incredible. That person sang Beyonce saying yep. Harry yep. Say, like nobody was off limits yeah, yeah. don't they so. produce for Chance the Rapper they did yeah yeah mm-hmm. they were, they were so, so great good. it was like being in a yeah music yeah. festival we tried to keep it a secret because we wanted some elements of the day to be a surprise I'm surprised I didn't tell you because you were like I, one of our close you didn't tell band. me yeah, and then I was like is that too. brass tracks <laughs> You didn't tell me, but because I know Zach, when we were sitting at dinner, I saw the instrument set up on the stage and I turned to Watson. I was like, it's either Yola's going to perform or Brass Tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was incredible. But there was like some elements we didn't when we were like planning out like the the table plan. We always had to make sure like, okay, this is where Brass Tracks is going to go. They can't just like come on to stage with like a drum set like it all yeah. has to be set up before yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. they have to do like rehearsal before they have to warm up sound check all sound that. check all that good stuff yep, yep. but and it, then after brass tracks was done there was more dancing more dancing the rave started I don't, I don't think Ooh. I've danced since your wedding the I lasers danced, I danced it all out you danced it all out I the all lasers out. didn't so come till 10pm yeah, yeah. Laser the lasers cool. were crazy the lasers the were DJ cool. was crazy yeah they DJ played Zach's Manny. favorite band, Coldplay. DJ Manny. Um, he loved it. He was so excited, and I knew that he picked it. <laughs> I love that anytime that the there's like a, a deviation in our playlist, Becky's like, "Oh, they would not play that." I could hear when it would be, and this Coldplay song came on, and I went over to Zach. I was like, "I, 
I knew you loved Coldplay. I knew this. I just <laughs> knew you wanted this mashup. I feel like it was one of your friends. <laughs> he did. So one of my close friends <laughs> requested, <laughs> requested think, Latch right? by Disclosure. And Zach was like, why are you requesting songs? I curated my own. <laughs> he was yeah. so mad. But basically, DJ Manny, he was like, ooh, I got like a good <clears throat> remix of that. And it was Viva La Vida <laughs> by Coldplay. And Zach is like not. Biggest cold. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like just as I had gone up to Zach to joke, like to rib him about it, she walks up and is like, I requested this. <laughs> and Zach and I are crying. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to improve your health, hydration is a great place to start. And Liquid IV is the hydration brand that fuels your well being. Their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. You can use it first thing in the morning, before a workout, when you're feeling a little down. Personally, I like to use it after a long night out. I feel like it really helps me feel refreshed in the morning. I really like the flavor lemon lime. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of my own, like a little bit of lime juice in there and make it like a little fancy mocktail before heading out for the night. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. It's made with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks and made with premium ingredients. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SITWITHUS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code SITWITHUS at liquidiv.com. I'm a huge supporter of Etsy because you can find unique, beautifully made items from independent sellers. Etsy has everything from statement pieces like rugs and sofas to daily staples like outerwear and accessories. There are only so many places where you can shop jackets and jewelry, furniture and art, and more at all budgets and for all occasions. And Etsy is that place. Not to mention the unique craftsmanship evident on so many of the available items that sets Etsy apart. My favorite purchase on Etsy was customized collars for all three of my dogs, little Emma, Kimbop, and Pesto. We got them monogrammed with their own names and numbers in case they get lost and we get so many compliments on them. New to Etsy, use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That's code NEW. Maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For home, style, and gifts, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. No, but he did a good job. We were like watching back videos. That's kind of like what we've been doing in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we we kind of have some like post-wedding sadness for sure. Oh, well, like, yeah, it's like the best party of your life. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, Those dopamine yeah. withdrawals, you know? Yeah, I get yeah. really yeah. sad. I'm like, what was I even doing at this hour? Where was I? <laughs> Why wasn't I everywhere, everywhere, yeah. everywhere? What do you have to plan now? Like, exactly. what's your next big party? You gotta I know. plan another party. You we know gotta. What? You could. You could plan not that like that. You no, could. not like you that. Could. Do, an, do an LA wedding? Yeah. yeah. Another round? Yeah. Just an LA <laughs> party at your house. Another round? Yeah, yeah. get brass tracks at your house. <gasps> oh. Yeah, <laughs> brass tracks at the house. <laughs> put, put them up in the backyard. Yeah. We're in. We're there. You already have a stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boost a deck. Boost yeah. Feld, uh, music festival. I'm sure our, na- our neighbors <laughs> would yeah, love Yeah, the neighbors that. would love. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we already talked about the disposable cameras. You had your yes. wedding with Sonia, but you also had phone it in. Oh, yes. After oh, the tone. Yeah. Yes. I hope. Phone I can't in. wait. Have you listened it's to it It's been. All? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> have you listened God. to any of them? Because I saw some people on there. You're, You're going like, to get some crazy messages. For a long time. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I I left a message while the band was like in full force right after the Harry Styles song. And I worried that you couldn't hear my message. It's okay. So to give her, <laughs> it's okay. I don't need to hear it. <laughs> to get, no, no, no. Okay. I just, I didn't need to hear it. Do you no. want to share with us now? What don't you stress. Said? Don't stress. Yeah, do no, you but pretend like wait. That's okay, do you want to recreate it? <laughs> Can we give the audience kind of context about what we're talking about? So, I, <laughs> Zach and I didn't right? do any like professional engagement photos, so we didn't want to do a guest book. But there is this company called After the Tone where you just have a phone delivered. They do international. They do local. Like a landline phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like a hot pink phone. You pick it up and you start leaving a message and it basically can be pressed into a vinyl afterwards and you can just hear oh, a little message. Oh, I didn't listen to a vinyl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oof. And we can listen to <laughs> what our wedding guest. Careful with your speakers on that one. I know. <laughs> Matt's like, hey. 
<laughs> what did Not you just say? me. There were some other people who were like giggling and they did, and they put down and they uh, and then no they put it down. No way. Like, person was just picking it up. So and I was it down. like, I was like, I don't know what your vinyl's gonna sound like. Oh my yeah. god! I'm hoping they edit. They edit down. They've got to. I say they have, there has to be I too sang much. one of the songs that was playing. Yeah, from Greece. To That's going on the A side. Yeah, A side. <laughs> the A. <ace. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to get that back. I did get an email from the company saying, like, don't worry. They all sound great. <laughs> We're working on it. Great. Okay. Super yeah. great. Your friends are very cool and not drunk. Yeah. We love it. I wanted to hear yeah. people like the progression. I wanted to hear Rachel post ceremony. I wanted mm-hmm. to hear you mm-hmm. I think mention I on some too. treats. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, because it was a pretty calm wedding until towards the end. Mm-hmm. Then they started handing out yeah. the waiters coming with all these tequila shots. I told them no shots. Girls were falling on the dance floor. And, and then not glitter shot. for your face glitter. and the mm-hmm. lasers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Our wait. Glasses. So we did the Hora. And then we mm-hmm. also did La Hora, which was La Hora Loca. Yeah. So that was like kind of the two only traditions that we did. But basically, it was just like the crazy hour. And it's the final hour of the party. Mm-hmm. We did... Basically passed out like these colorful sunglasses and just gave everyone like little glitter rhinestones and had some like glitter stations and like Mm -hmm. everyone just got. And you changed outfits. Yes. Tell us about the wardrobe change. Um, Okay. So the wardrobe change. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to change at all. I think I got my second dress kind of like a month before. Mm -hmm. Um, I got to Mexico. And I realized that the dress that I had ordered was completely see-through. <gasps> mm-hmm. Hot. She didn't want to leave anything yeah. to the imagination. <laughs> yeah. A lot of like the... Now that you're done living in sin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I had to take it to a local seamstress to put a liner into it. Wow. So I wasn't sure if I was going to change it all. And I'm glad that I did because I got very sweaty. Yeah. Uh-huh. The boning in the dress like, that I got, I still mm-hmm. have like little chafe marks yeah. Till this day, kind of like around. <laughs> we speak from knowledge. Yeah. yeah. I got sweaty mm-hmm. and the sweatiness yeah. rubbed and I just have like little burn marks kind of mm-hmm. all over my torso. But I was, it was a very comfortable second change after I, I there was a point where I was like, I don't know what I, even to wear under this because it was kind mm-hmm. of like a low back too. So I couldn't wear Spanx. Mm-hmm. So my Spanx would go way too high and I would just. You wore nothing. So she free balled it. I did. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> I got it lined and it was all crisis averted, but it was yeah. that was another stress when we like landed. I was like, what am I going to do if I need, want to change? Because I know I'm going to want to because it's going to be hot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the weather was actually really nice when the sun went down. When the sun it was down. perfect. Was so nice. yeah. yeah. Easy breezy. breezy. And mm-hmm. then how did you feel when you woke up the next day? Oh, yeah. So I thought for sure <clears throat> at one o'clock. I would be like exhausted, done. And everyone's like, where do you want to go for the after party? And I was like, oh, we don't really have anything planned after this. And we ended up just going back to the place that we were staying. We were surrounded by Zach's sister, Zach's best man, a couple of our close friends. We just sat and talked and then we went to bed and I woke up the next morning rejuvenated. Rejuvenated. (laughs) Rejuvenated. Stress averted. I know. Especially since you didn't sleep well the night before and then you had like a 20 hour day. Exactly. I bet you slept like a baby. I did. You did but then you woke up at like I got a text from Maggie at like probably six in the morning that day and I was like up having coffee and I was like is she awake? <laughs> I know. I just was like hopped up on just like. But then you napped. Adrenaline. I did nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like lots to do the morning after. There's so much stuff to pack. Yeah. And I'm so thankful. Our wedding planner actually took, we got like little kind of like drink name tags because mm-hmm. we couldn't bring a whole escort over. But she like saved those, saved our menus. We're probably going to get mm. those framed. Mm-hmm. Oh, but like packing like my wedding dress and like moving and getting all this stuff. We ended up with all the. Such a logistical like endeavor. It's really like a whole, I should have talked to you, Rach. You're like used to planning like full productions. I should have been like, okay, make sure. Can you make sure that this, this, this is done? I didn't. Yeah. No one wants to close out. I know. No. It's hard. Up the least fun <laughs> part. Yeah. I dropped no off my um, bridal bouquet with like a local, because you can't travel with yeah. mm-hmm. any flo- florals oh, or anything yeah. like that. So <clears throat> I dropped it off with a local resin artist Ooh. and they're going to press it into like little coasters, which is cute. Cute. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. And just getting two dresses 
back mm-hmm. was like a whole thing, but a mm-hmm. close friend of mine, I had like one of these zip bags from Amazon that I purchased mm-hmm. that turned into like a bag. It was like a hanger oh, yeah. and then it turns into a bag and then I handed it to her and she's like, I'll take this home for That's you. That's what all the boys mm-hmm. brought their suits in because I flew with like half of our company oh. and they all had carry-ons and then these just little zip bags with their yeah. suits. It was smart. So smart. Wow. Uh, I traveled with my children. I had three full size suitcases. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they got a lot. Talk of about cute. logistical nightmare. Talk about <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Let to- me add twins. <laughs> yeah, to the mix. plus all the snacks for the plane. Mm-hmm. Logistical. So now that you are a married woman, Maggie, mm. a senora, mm-hmm. have you made any choices? About your last name. <gasps> oh, yeah. The world is like waiting with bated breath. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> you have a dividing line over here. Yeah, true. So I think that I. Bustafeld. Bustafeld. Like we're going to com- mm. combine. I think of. Ernst Monte. That, like we're <laughs> keeping our own first and last uh, first names uh, first and last name we're keeping Zach it Bustamante. we're gonna like blend both of our names Zaggy, so we have Zaggy. the same Zaggy. same name Zaggy exactly. Zaggy our new name is Zaggy <laughs> um, <laughs> we no longer have different names yeah, yeah. I think that eventually I will hyphenate and I'll just be Bustamante Cornfield okay oh nice yeah. that's kind of what I just mm. easy mm-hmm. great you also got all the time in the world yeah you can literally do it whenever don't brush yeah, yeah. You can do whenever that marriage certificate signed. Yeah, I think I'll drop my signed. middle name just because. That's what most people do. Yeah, I'll drop my middle name. Yeah. Cause why? You go by whatever name you want. Yeah. So uh, now, just to kind of round out this episode, Mags. Yeah. Now that you are a senora, senora. a married woman. Yeah. Do you have any advice for anyone else that's getting married out there right now? Anyone listening Ooh. that's Ooh. planning their wedding? Yeah. I think just. Don't ever lose sight of why you're planning a wedding. I think that there sometimes you get very wrapped up in like all the details of the day because there is a lot of stuff that goes on. There's a lot of family members that sometimes get involved. And I don't know, just remember why you're there because there was some things that happened to Zach and I the month before and I was like, nothing else can stress me out right now. I think Mm -hmm. that I am just fortunate and so happy that we made it to the day and I just want to marry you and that's that's the end I can't be stressed out about anything else yeah yeah that's love that so yeah sweet. I don't know if that's like no the that's best great, that's great advice yeah, yeah. And what I just was re- your favorite thing about your wedding my favorite thing um favorite memory all of us yeah, I think like the wa- I feel like it was the moment she saw Rachel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think like the first when they presented us for the first time as husband and wife, and we went into the center and started dancing and just uh-huh. like looking around. Like if you had asked me how I would feel about that moment, because I just am naturally don't like a lot of attention on me. That was so special. I like looked oh, out. Oh, and I had saw- fireworks. I know. <laughs> The so fireworks special. were such a surprise. Yeah, I know. They was cold sparklers. <laughs> I watched like Zach's best man, Eric, walk through it. And I was like, oh, yeah. he didn't know they were coming. I didn't know they were coming. And I was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was it was quite special. Just like looking out at like my, I got to dance with like my mom, my dad, my sister, Zach's oh, wow. mom, Zach's mm-hmm. dad, my mm-hmm. new sister. Like it mm-hmm. was just so fun. And being able to like see all our friends and family in a space that we love so much and joy as well mm-hmm. was just Everything. Amazing. Amazing. Becky, what was your favorite memory of the wedding? Yeah. Ah, uh, everything. <laughs> I love the dancing. The cold play moment does stick out in my head as one of the top moments because it was just the perfect comedic timing. Mm-hmm. Um, I really liked, I got to help Maggie put her veil on. She did. Aww. And I thought that was really sweet. Yeah. It was really cute. And then I showed her mom and like ran away and was like, no, 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 you got to do it. Magali, you know, Magali, Magali, you do have to do pictures, this. Do it for the pictures, Magali. Do it for the pictures. Yeah, I was just a little taller. It was yeah. so cute. We were working with a lot of short people in that bridal party. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that was probably my favorite. What was it, your favorite, Matthew? Yeah. Um, my favorite was when you had the champagne gun. <gasps> Oh, we didn't even yes. talk about that. <laughs> you got champagne gun. I got champagne gun. Yeah. yeah. You were, I think, were the only person. I think, I think it's the only person, yeah. That No, you no. got, a oh. lot of people Bruce, got champagne. Oh. You were yeah. the only person that didn't get like sloshed oh, all slosh. over your I face. think Macy oh. got I it think, like, like in the, the nose. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, like yes. I watched Zach just shoot our friend Shannon and Shannon was like a moving little target. <laughs> so I got all over Shannon's face and I was like, Zach, I think you no really hurt makeup. Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, I wanted to have this like beautiful like cake cutting 
moment and the champagne gun wasn't supposed to come out till La Ora Loca. Mm. But Zach was like, nah, we're going to cut cake and I'm going to shoot champagne. And it kind of just like happened. But Mm -hmm. all the photos are insane. Like my tongue is out in a lot of them. I'm like, "Ah." you you know, I know. Maggie just turned her head to the side and bit into the entire cake. Yeah. Mm. With almost no frosting on your face. Yeah. Yeah, That was was, I licked it off quick. quick. (laughs) Quick. That was quick. Well, then Kelsey went around shoving cake into people's mouths. Yeah. The only bite of cake I got was from Kelsey. So thank God she did. (laughs) Yeah. The only bite of cake I got. We started dancing to Cake by the Ocean because that was like one of the, that song was like just released, I think. A couple months before Zach and I started talking and it was like on the billboard. I don't know uh-huh. if it's actually on the billboard, but it just meant something to Zach and I. So we're like, we're going to cut cake to this song. So we did that. And then the DJ started playing like Steve Aoki. And I was mm-hmm. like, I hope he doesn't think we're going to like Zach started kind of like handing out cake and like having our friends like bite into it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, OK, I, I got to do something so Zach doesn't start throwing cake at our friend. <laughs> <whipping> <laughs> cake at the oh, end. No. So I was like, we will not be throwing cake at this wedding. So I just like took a bite and I was like, OK, that's the end. <laughs> that's the end. Yeah. We're ending it here. Yeah. And okay. that's how everything should end yeah. with a bite of cake. Yeah. And a champagne gun. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rachel, what was your favorite moment? Um, I mean, I always really loved the vows mm. and your vows were really beautiful and very sweet mm. and they made me cry. But honestly, Brass Tracks playing Harry Styles is probably my highest Cheer. euphoria mm. moment. Yeah. And mm. I got to have churros twice that weekend. So, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we did churros <laughs> twice. Yeah. Yeah. Zach's family was like, are you sure you don't want like a different dessert? No. And we were like, no, no, churros. No. no. Why mess with perfection exactly i'm glad i'm glad i got your full support yes you do be like do you think people get sick of churros no 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 No? well you guys i know you want to hear more about maggie's wedding and lucky for you there will be obviously some videos coming out so keep an eye on that there are some things we didn't even talk about Mm. because we wanted you to be surprised Mm. i almost spilled the beans but rainy's gonna redact it so (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So keep an eye out for that. Um, In the meantime, make sure you're sending us all your questions. Any Mm -hmm. advice you need? If you have any wedding advice for wedding advice, wedding question. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Send that along. Maybe we'll do a follow up episode where the most recent senora answers (laughs) any of (laughs) your recent (laughs) senoras. We're all senoras. Answers your wedding questions. Yeah, answers your wedding planning questions. But make sure you're washing your hands, getting vaccinated for all the things you need to get vaccinated for, Mm -hmm. peeing after sex, being nice to people, all the things. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.